the one who said judge not lest you be judged has a whole company of folk that judge and are judged all the time, including you and I. There's something about making value judgments that's innate in our psyche. We're constantly critiquing and judging and passing judgment in ways we don't even fully realize consciously. And Jesus isn't saying, judge not lest you be judged, as if we're all perfect. He's inviting us to become aware of how difficult it is to live a life where you live a non-judgmental way that loves everybody where they are. Trust me, get honest with yourself and realize that that doesn't come easy. Was it Ringo Starr that's saying it don't, you know, it don't come easy? Well, it, it, living a life where you don't value judge doesn't come easy. It requires discipline, grounding in the love of God, and the ability to be so aware of your thought processes that when they come up and you are actually passing judgment, you take a step back and say, I could either give in to this or I can surrender this to the Lord and realize that my own unfinished business is coming out because psychologically all judgment is projection. What does that mean? That means you cannot judge something in someone else's life unless you first have buried it in your own and you don't want to own it because at an unconscious level you're dumping on them the part of you that you have not wanted to face. And so learning how to live a life where you don't value judge takes time, takes patience, and it takes love. I've got to be able to appropriate the love of God. I've got to be able to accept who God made others to be and accept who I am exactly the way things are. Doesn't mean people don't need to change. Doesn't mean that we have to approve of everything everybody does. You don't approve of everything you do all the time. I don't approve of everything I do all the time. But it does mean I have to stop judging as a habit and take a step back and realize, how do I need to evaluate this in light of the love of Christ and what God may want to do? Because as Virginia Satir, the late family therapist, said, every one of us has an iceberg below the surface of what we can see. All we see is the tip of everybody's iceberg, but everybody has an iceberg. Everybody needs to be thought out in areas of pain, frustration, hurt, because all of our history is accumulated and frozen deep below the layers of our consciousness in the sea of our unwillingness to remember. And that stuff all needs to thaw out. But the way it thaws out is we become aware of when we're judging so that we can learn how not to do it, so we can get to a place where love conquers our tendency to judge.